Hey guys, welcome to Black Angus Reviews. Today we're going to be covering Justina Ireland, author from Star Wars High Republic Initiative, uh, telling fans to not buy her books. Uh, so this comes from Bounty in the Comics, uh, and thanks to mainly Ichibaga, actually, with his coverage and deep dive of her Twitter, she's got not just a recent, you know, uh, thing against white people, white men, but this is a uh, common thing of hers for at least a year of just uh, a psychotic... Uh, what's the word? I'm lost. Just like it's a psychosis, a paranoia about white people in books and stuff, main characters. And even when they do it right, or when someone is on her side with this uh, SJW nonsense about color for characters instead of the content of the character, uh, she still cries about it because a white man is saying it. Um, <laughs> so. Earlier, she was referring to some podcaster, I think that was featured in the Star Wars Insider, I'm not sure, uh, so don't quote me on that, but she was speaking about him, saying, I guess mediocre white men are still going to be on here bragging about their mediocrity, as though it's a hilarious anecdote instead of pure assholery, so thanks for establishing that baseline early 2021. Uh, in the follow-up, she added, imagine writing a 20-tweet thread about outsmarting your nine-year-old, what a waste of perfectly good carbon. Uh... So yeah, it came in response to podcast host John Roderick when he challenged his nine-year-old to open a can of beans with a can opener. I guess this is something of like the new generation doesn't understand old technology, you know, manual use, labor. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so this guy bowed to the SJWs for no reason, apologizing, I guess, for misogyny or some shit, despite the context being his wife laughing about this as well uh, with their daughter. Uh, I don't know if this is like Kelly Sue DeConnick or Kelly Thompson from Marvel, but uh, she had this recent thing to say, um, if I can find it here. Um, she replied to someone pretty much asking, hey, shouldn't we keep our politics out if we want to sell to people? And Justina Ireland replies, the problem is if you don't like my politics and my beliefs and my moral compass, you aren't going to like my books. So let's just go ahead and save everyone some time. And uh, she fairly says, plus there's like an Amazon warehouse or Starbucks on every corner now, and I've had worse jobs, so YOLO. So she just totally disses the idea of uh, holding back as a creator to not offend um, a wider audience potential to buy her products. And that'd be one thing if she was solo publishing as an author, but she's representing Lucasfilm. And I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Uh, an entity made by a white guy, George Lucas, even though he's, I think, uh, very much in line with uh, the general leftist politics, SJWs and whatnot. And uh, Star Wars was originally inspired by his view of Nixon and the Vietnam War, America being the proverbial empire. But he had the subtlety to make it uh, be able to fit across time and space with the idea of a tyrannical empire and a ragtag crew of rebels. You can place the Star Wars Rebels on the American Revolution, the French Revolution, uh, Cowboys and Indians, whatnot, you know. And uh, <laughs> my biggest thing about all this is how many of us in the Phantom Menace locked arms with Star Wars Theory um, in regards to the Pablo Hidalgo debacle on Twitter? How many were up in arms about this? Uh, you know, some of you, like Ryan Kennel, I agree with, questioning uh, where was Star Wars Theory this whole time and that's why I said in my video that uh, y'all normally disagreed with or didn't like that uh, I th I think the context was a joke that got blown out of proportion uh, but you know six hours goes by and he's got to make a video to blast Pablo in public and say a lot of things the minister is saying about Lucasfilm and, and comic skate comic creators disenfranchising uh, customers or potential customers because their politics don't meet eye to eye uh, where is Star Wars Theory to now call this out to say, hey, you're pushing this new initiative uh, from Lucasfilm, multi-platforms and whatnot, to build into the Acolyte at some point, with Leslie Headland's production. Uh, why are you doing this? I think this is a big problem. <laughs> I think this shows the hypocrisy of Star Wars Theory. It only matters uh, to get on board with this discussion about the responsibility of Lucasfilm um, when it 
is at him. But otherwise, he's just going to, you know, step aside, not get into the controversy, not talk about it. Um, so, hey, if you agree with me, call out Star Wars Theory, because it's a bit hypocritical to cry about a possible joke, despite Pablo's history, and yet sit aside with the fanboy tears with uh, Pedro Pascal recently calling Trump supporters Nazis and uh, Klansmen, or comparing them to that. Um, yeah, that's that's how I see all this. It's it's ridiculous, and it's funny. This article actually um, reflects what's going on here with the fallout of Battlefield Five and how uh, this stance was taken by um, one of the creators or the leaders of the project. And of course, it was a huge debacle for EA. Did not sell well at all, despite the initiative. And uh, they had to report the losses. And EA, of course, working with Lucasfilm at least for another, I think, year or so. I'm not sure how long that is. I don't follow the gaming part of Star Wars. Um, but it's funny, too, because I want to say it was Kelly Sue DeConnick, if not Kelly Thompson. Um, I want to say one of those two was riding Aquaman, and that has been canceled. It's never just been, like, clean slate canceled like that, or, you know, the run ended. But um, this idea of, like, oh, I don't like my politics, and don't read me, or don't buy my stuff, quit chasing away customers. Um this is lunacy, unfortunately, with an already lackluster um, first attempt with the High Republic. I, of course, have reviewed the High Republic number one. You can go check that out in the description below. Um, it's run of the mill. It's lackluster. It doesn't understand how to pitch uh, this story to get us invested. But I'll I'll stick it out for I think six issues. But. Uh, it's not a good start, especially after the high we just have the Mandalorian and then the kind of seeming uh, locking of arms, like I said, with Star Wars Siri and the general fan base all feeling good off Mandalorian and uh, decrying Pablo for uh, his response to that. So let's just maintain that. Let's maintain some consistency. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Or do you think, oh, well, it's not Star Wars Series issue? Um, I think clearly it is. If he's going to call it one, he's got to call it out. He's got to be vigilant. He can't just sit on the fence with this stuff if he's already taken the stance when it was uh, at his expense for crying about Luke Skywalker. Um, you got to be uh, consistent across the board. And so far, Star Wars Series has not been. I understand. Uh, I think I saw a post of his. He's doing uh, a charity thing or is about to. Um, so if that's in the way right now, fine. But, you know... I expect, you know, you had a six-hour window and then you're making a video calling out Pablo, uh, but we're seeing nothing now. Um, you're hush-hush about it. And that's my biggest criticism of his channel is being fair weather uh, just aside from the Pablo thing. So, again, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do you agree or do you think, oh, it's not his problem to worry about? Um, where do you lie in all of this? How do you feel about the High Republic and Justina Ireland uh, specifically? Talk to you all later.